الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله بالحق بشيرا ونذيرا لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله ربي زدني علما ربي زدني علما ربي زدني علما قال الله تعالى في القرآن الكريم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم عما يتساءلون عن النبأ العظيم الذي هم فيه مختلفون كلا سيعلمون ثم كلا سيعلمون صدق الله العظيم The ayahs of the Quran that I have just recited to you comes from the Meccan period when Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam was in Mecca. Before I give you the translation of these ayahs, it ties very well with what we'll be talking about later today, of what Imam talked about, that our hearts and prayers goes out to people, our brothers and sisters and their families, kids who were affected in New Zealand, in the Church Christ city, and... We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them highest place in Jannah. This is a terror act. And of course we strongly oppose these kind of acts. And at the same time it's a reminder that only Allah knows when who has to go. <coughs> Everybody has to leave. The idea is that when you leave, what you take with you. And what you take with you is nothing of these worldly desires that we collect. It is the good deeds that we do with good intentions that we carry over. Now going back to these verses that I have just recited to you, these come from the very first surah of the 30th juz of Qur'an, Surah An-Naba. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is communicating with the Prophet and with the believers too, that these people of Mecca who have no concept of life after death, they do not believe that one day they will have to go in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and will be answerable for the actions that they have done in this world. And same goes out for the believers who live their life as if they have no return back to their Lord. Or if they return, they will be given a direct pass into the Jannah, no questions asked. It's not like that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will going to hold us accountable for the things that we have done, for the injustices that we have committed, and will reward us for the justices that we have done and the good deeds that we bring forth. But these people of Mecca, and it was a big thing that they would ask and debate and talk among themselves that what is it that this guy is talking about? This prophet of God that he thinks he's a prophet that he's saying that there will be a day when everybody will have to go in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and these people are talking with each other without any knowledge. And of course since they don't have any knowledge they come to the consensus that no, our bodies go in the ground, we become part of it, and that's it. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you look, like, look at the ayahs from the 30th and the 29th especially, and if you look specifically at the Makkin surahs, talk specifically about believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Believing in day of judgment. And also make sure that you're doing good deeds for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have to one day return back to Him. So all you people, believers or non-believers, when you are here, 
Your stay is short. Even though you love it so much. But it is the akhirah, which is the khayr, the better one, and abqa, the everlasting one. How much can we hide? Now sometimes, sometimes younger generations, they get together in the name of something else, and they do something else. The name is, it's a gaming get-together, or it's a hangout, but behind the scene, there is a lot of drugs, weed, smoke, alcohol. Who are we trying to fool? Who is it that we are trying to fool? إِنَّهُ عَلِيمٌ بِذَاتِ الصُّدُورِ He knows even to the core of our hearts. We could do sins behind closed doors without anybody knowing or only a hand group, a handful of buddies knowing, but He knows. And think about it for a moment. On the Day of Judgment, all of these sins that we have hidden from the world, when they get open, and the, not just the world, the entire ummah, and all the ummahs, and all the jinns, and all the malaika will hear them. And that feeling itself is so devastating, it breaks us. Oh my God, how could I do this? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about these people that they don't believe. So that's why they commit injustices. So in the Makkan society, we had people like Abu Lahab, people like Abu Jahal, and their friends. But the idea was that they had no, no idea that they have to leave and will be answerable. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, before breaks it all to them, first tell them what luxuries He has given to us. أَلَمْ نَجْعَلِ الْأَرْضَ مِهَادَ Have we not flattened it out for you? So that you can dwell in it, you can grow vegetations in it, you can make a living in it. We have make it easier for you, this planet Earth. Its terrain could have been very difficult, but we had made sure that it's livable for you. And we have given it weight in the names of these mountains that as much they are up, as much they are under. And they give weight. And if this weight was not put on the earth, it would not be stable in its orbit. It would just roam around. So we have given you a solid state to maintain your living. We created you in pairs. So that you do not go elsewhere to do haram. We created you in pairs. So that you live with love and care, and build a family, build a positive society. Don't just go around, fool around everywhere you like. And we have given you the night so that you could sleep, and in the sleep you take rest, and you energize yourself. This is a blessing. Ask those who can't sleep without medications. Ask those who have to wake up every two hours because of the medications that they take, they have to pee every two hours. So in an eight hour, and then going back to sleep is hard. So sleeping is a blessing. <laughs> we give this night a beautiful dark cloud, the dark curtain so that you find peace and solace. And and we give you the daylight so that you are refreshed, you go out and you earn your halal living. And we have given you thereupon seven strong heavens which are standing without pillars. And this is by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَجَعَلْنَا سِرَاجًا وَحَاجًا and we gave you a shining lamp in the name of sun that energizes your entire atmosphere. If the sun doesn't raise us for a month, this planet will die. Die of cold. This moon that we see, 
The light is a borrowed light from sun. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says on top of that, وَأَنزَلْنَا مِنَ الْمُعْصِرَاتِ مَا أَنْ We gave you abundance in water. لِنُخْرِجَ بِهِ حَبًّا وَنَبَاتًا So the things and vegetations grow. مَتَاعًا لَكُمْ وَلِأَنْعَامِكُمْ In a different surah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, so that you find food in it, and your cattle find food in it. You produce, because their produce is also your form of consumption. And then, وَجَنَّاتٍ أَلْفَافَ And we gave you gardens. So we give you this whole environment. We just give you this beautiful setup. And on top of that, if you talk about the celestial body, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about it in another surah. لَلشَّمْسُ يَنْبَغِي لَهَا أَن تُدْرِكَ الْقَمَرُ وَلَا اللَّيْلُ سَابِقُ النَّهَارُ that neither the sun and moon will change their places, nor the day and night. Everything is scheduled in sequence. وَكُلٌّ فِي فَلَكِ يَسْبَحُونَ And they are roaming around in their orbit, nicely and comfortably. Why? Because هُوَ الَّذِي It is He who created it. خَلَقَ لَكُمْ For you. مَا فِي السَّمَاءُ مَا فِي الْأَرْضِ جَمِيعًا Everything that is in the earth, He created it for you. ثُمَّ اسْتَوَى إِلَى السَّمَاءِ فَسَوَّهُنَّ سَبْعَ سَمَاوَاتِ Then He paid attention to the heavens and created them. وَهُوَ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ عَلِيمٌ This is a very important ayah, that He knows everything. Don't think that He doesn't know it. But now he really, really breaks the rude awakening. كُلُّ مَنْ عَلَيْهَا فَانْ Everybody that is living in the earth, planets, suns, everywhere, skies, between them, has to go. One day. And it is he who shall live. Because he is there from Al-Awwal and he is Al-Akhir. And indeed, إِنَّ يَوْمَ الْفَصْلِ كَانَ مِيقَاتًا Indeed, verily, the day of the decision is fixed. They're asking about that day. Tell them that they day will come. And in Surah Taha, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling Musa alayhi salam, إِنَّ السَّاعَةِ in the sa'ah, the hour, atiyatun, coming, akadu ukhfiha, I purposely almost hit it. Why almost? Because I have given you some signs of it. I've given you some information so that you are prepared. Akadu ukhfiha, litujza, so that on that day I will re- reward. Kullu nafsim bima tasa'a. Whatever every nafs and soul will bring, I will reward on that day. But look, O oh people. وَنُفِخَ فِي الصُّورِ But when the trumpet will be blown. فَجَمَعْنَاهُمْ جَمْعًا Then everybody will be gathering up. And notice the sun that gives you this daylight. Now I'm, I will travel in different surahs now. إِذَا الشَّمْسُ كُوِّرَتْ It's gone. It loses its light. وَإِذَا النُّجُومُ كَدَرَتْ And these stars dispersed. إِذَا السَّمَاءُ فَطَرَتْ And the sky split. وَإِذَا الْكَوَاكِبُ تَثَرَتْ And these stars will not only fall, they will scatter. And in another surah, وَخَسَفَ الْقَمَرُ And the moon darkens. وَجُمِعَ الشَّمْسُ وَالْقَمَرُ And the sun and the moon will become one. إِذَا السَّمَاءُ شَقَّتْ And the sky will open. وَفُتِحَتِ السَّمَاءُ فَكَانَتْ أَبْوَابًا And the heavens will open as if it has doors. So what will happen on the earth, Ya Rabb? الْقَارِعَةِ Shaken! مَنْ قَارِعَةِ 
وما أدراك ما القارعة you don't know you have no idea what القارعة is and الحاقة inevitable reality ما الحاقة you don't understand that وما أدراك ما الحاقة you have no clue remember كذب الثمود وعاد بالقارعة the Thamud and Aad, the people denied Al-Qari'ah and look what happened to them. They're gone. And what I will do to this earth that you're so proud of? إِذَا زُلْزِلَتِ الْأَرْضُ زِلْزَالَهَا I will bring an earthquake that will shake this earth up. وَأَخْرَجَتِ الْأَرْضُ أَثْقَالَهَا It will throw out everything that it holds. وَقَالَ الْإِنسَانُ مَا لَهَا And the man will wonder what is going on. And on that day, وَيَقُولُ الْإِنسَانُ يَوْمَئِذٍ أَيْنَ الْمَفَرُ Where should I run away? The man will say, what's going on? كَلَّا لَا وَزَرْ There's no running away that day. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O oh, you people, يَوْمَ يَكُونُ النَّاسُ كَالْفَرَاشِ الْمَبْثُوثِ you will run like little, little, little bugs as they run to the light. That's how you will run in craziness. And that jibal that we give you, that awtad, وَتَكُونُ الْجِبَالُ كَالْعِهْنِ الْمَنْفُوشِ We will just put it out like a cotton ball floating around in the, earth, in the atmosphere. وَسُيِّرَتِ الْجِبَالُ فَكَادَتْ سَرَابًا And it will just float around like dust. I'm like, this is mountain. No, it is dust. وَإِذَا الْعِشَارُ عُطِّلَتْ And when the, when the most important thing for the Arabs back then was camel which was about to give birth, they will even not take care of that. So the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is trying to tell you that at that time, you will leave everything, the most important thing to you, leave it. وَإِذَا الْوُحُوشُ حُشِرَتْ And when these wild beasts will be gathered, وَإِذَا الْبِحَارُ سُجِّرَتْ And this water bodies that you see around, which is two-thirds of this planet, will be fire. وَإِذَا الْجَحِيمُ سُعِّرَتْ when, the, when this hellfire, it will be blazed. وَإِذَا الْجَنَّةُ أُزْلِفَتْ And the Jannah will be brought near. وَإِذَا الصُّحُفُ نُشِرَتْ And the pages will be made public. The books will be made public. وَوُضِعَ الْكِتَابِ It will be made public. عَلِمَتْ نَفْسُ مَا أَحْضَرَتْ Every soul will know what he has brought forth. فَتَرَى الْمُجْرِمِينَ مُشْفِقِينَ مِمَّا فِيهِ And the criminals will say that day, وَيَقُولُونَ يَا وَيْلَتَنَا مَا لِهَذَا الْكِتَابِ لَا يُغَاضِرُ صَغِيرَةً وَلَا كَبِيرَةً إِلَّا أَحْصَاهَا And the criminals will say, what kind of book is this? There is nothing small, nothing big that has been left out. Allahu Akbar and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says فَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ بِيَمِينَهِ And the one that is given on that day, the book in the right hand فَسَوْفَ يُحَاسَبُ حِسَابًا يَسِيرًا There will be accountability but will be easy on him. وَيَنْقَلِبُ إِلَىٰ أَهْلِهِ مَسْرُورًا He will run to his family happy. Oh Allah, please make us among those people. Allahumma ja'alna min. Wa man wa amma man utiya kitabahu wa ra'a zahri. The one that will be given the book from right behind. Fasawfa yad'u thubura. They will out, cry out loud. Wa yasla sa'ira. They will be taken out in the sa'ir. I don't have time today to explain to you what sa'ir is. It's not easy. And on that day, لا يملكون منه خطابا Nobody will have power, dare to talk in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
يوم يقوم الروح والملائكة صفا and the angels and the ruh will be standing in rows and everybody will be crying يا رب سلم سلم have mercy لا يتكلمون إلا من أذن له الرحمن Nobody will be allowed to talk except for the one who has the permission from Rahman and will only speak the truth. And let's go to Surah Maryam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِن مِّنْكُمْ إِلَّا وَارِدُهَا Everybody, each one of us has to go through the process. كَانَ عَلَىٰ رَبِّكَ حَتْمًا مَقْضِيًّا This is an in Evitable decreed upon thing. You all have to go. But ثُمَّ نُنَجِّ الَّذِينَ اتَّقَوْ The one who have taqwa, they will be saved. وَنَذَرُ الظَّالِمِينَ فِيهَا جِسِيَّا But the other ones? No. And the open out loud message is ذَلِكَ الْيَوْمُ الْحَقِّ This will happen. It's coming. إِنَّ السَّاعَةَ أَتِيَةُ النَّكَادُ خْفِيهَا So what can I do? The answer is in the Qur'an. فَلَا يَصُدَّنَّكَ عَنْهَا مَنْ لَا يُؤْمِنُ بِهَا وَاتَّبَعَ هَوَاهُ فَتَرْضَى Do not follow those people who take you away from the straight path. Do not follow them. Leave them. Straighten your path. اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين you ask for it stay on that path وسارعوا الى مغفره run towards the maghfirah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وسارعوا الى مغفره من ربكم وجنه run towards the jannah عرضها السماوات والارض And it is as wide as you can even imagine. Prepared for the muttaqeen. Prepared for those who are God conscious. And that's the message. Run towards the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. أقول قول هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم. إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين من صلوا عليه وسلم تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم اغفر للمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك تحب العفو فاعف عنا يا كريم يا غفار لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إننا كنا من الظالمين ربنا أتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ربنا لا تزق قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب يا الله يا كريم يا رحمة يا رب سجلا الله have mercy on us يا الله guide us يا الله forgive us يا الله protect us يا الله those who have passed away please forgive their sins يا الله give صبر جميل to the families of those affected in the New Zealand terror attack Ya Allah, help those people who are housed and whose life is devastated in the central plains because of the devastations. Ya Allah, Ya Rabbul Alameen, we ask you to please help us and protect us. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala sayyidina wa habibana wa shafi'ana Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa aqimu salah. Allah, 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 Allah,